Mexicans are messy, dog. They like to see another nigga down. Don't don't lie. We all hey, see hey, niggas hey. on the side of the road with they shit back. The harder the accident, the more amused you are. That's fast. And I ain't wrong. I Remember swear that to God. That went viral. That that white S13 that back. Oh, I didn't see that. It was, I think his name like Prism Mike or some shit. Oh yeah, yeah the one, the right hand this drive swap. The form. fuck a went viral from crash and he posted that picture with his bloody face and shit. Dude, dude, okay, so you guys probably know it. it's the big thing right now. Stancy Pans Blue RX8. I oh, think the the gosh. shitty built one now. It's not my style of build, but I'm not gonna hate on the guy's car. My shit's built kind of crap, even though it's function. Yeah. But people were like saying, oh, that's what you get, your car burnt on fire. Yeah, but dude, he had up. like 14,000 followers, I think, when I first saw him months ago. Now he has 100,000. You guys just gassed him up. You didn't yeah. do shit. In two months, when everybody forgot and he got a new car, now he just got a bunch of followers and shit. Y'all just, y'all put dude on map. He might be the next TJ Hunt. Cause y'all hate him. Cause y'all hate him, bro. bro. Y'all, all the YouTubers, all Yo, the Instagram getting, accounts. Hating, he's still getting publicity. Oh, bro, big publicity. That, that dude, a hundred thousand followers. And you seen his follower ratio? Uh huh. Bro, he got a good ass follower ratio. He got like ninety thousand followers without following the single person. Damn. Y'all bugging, bro. Y'all hate so hard, you end up falling in love and don't even know it. Damn. That's a good way to put that shit. I see it now, bro. He's gonna end up getting another car, build it differently. Probably don't do all the shady shit now that he got a hundred thousand people looking at him. And then what they're gonna say? Oh, he matured his car, his build is all different. I'm now. telling you, bro. And he has a side business too, so that's a hundred thousand people who are now gonna see what he's doing. On y'all gave him money. He's probably now gonna make like fifty to hundred k a year if he plays it smart, just because y'all niggas was hating so hard. Bad. I can't believe, bro. That's how they. That's how today works, bro. That's the car scene now. It's the same thing. It's like shit, another thing I see. I see all the time people on like YouTubers comments and YouTubers dicks and shit talking about, bro, good shit. I've been riding with you forever, but they homies like they don't give them the same recognition. Facts. But they got homies with businesses and like car brands or sticker brands, but they don't fuck with them. But all y'all, every last person I know, will definitely go to ne a never content drop or um, something like that. But if a barely a name, three hundred follower dude out like he's been. Yeah. They ain't gonna jump on him with the same cloud, even though all those people are local to him. Everyone supports some dude they don't know, but afraid to come to the local car scene and then have the nerve to say the car scene is shit. Right. Like, well, he's been your tags. Because it's like to everybody else, the car scene is what they see on Instagram now. Yeah. That, that's the car scene. They, they try to like engulf every part of car culture and say that's a scene. It's like, that's just car enthusiasts as a whole. But I, I don't like. I'm not a rat rod builder, you know? Yeah. And the guy who builds rat rods might not build a street import car. So yeah, we both like cars, but we're not the same. Uh, that's a big problem with being car enthusiasts now, especially the ones that use Instagram. They just, I don't want to say clout builds, but it seems like that's where at the end of that's the day everyone wants. Yeah, it's just they want clout, instant gratification. People are scared to get their hands dirty. And everyone has to hate. If it's not built X way, if it's not done a certain way, if somebody put a certain amount of money into it or didn't put a certain amount of money into it, it's not right. I hate, I hate where IS 300s have led to, bro. Well, I like, when I first like fell in love with them and shit, <clears throat> nowhere near like how that shit is now. Well, it's because no one wanted ISs back then. Yeah. They were like, they weren't even the poor man's JZX because no one wanted a JZX back then. That's it true, was yeah. just a car that was made by Toyota that had an inline six in it. Like people knew about them, but they weren't really in. So I, I guess now that they got a little bit of price tag on them, people just got bougie and elitist. Like, it's weird. It's like, people give me compliments because I have Ganadors on my car, but ignoring the fact that my front harness is chopped up. <laughs> like, bruh, you got, you distracted for the wrong reasons, bucko. Them the same niggas that get distracted off of fake jewelry. Yeah. Speaking of Halifax right now. <laughs> like, Halifax. I don't know, man. I miss when having your car just built and running right. Like, all we used to care about is, homie, can you meet up at Sonics at 2 a.m.? Facts. Like, now everybody's like, it gotta be car show season for most people. So, I don't know. Car scene is off these days. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why Elvis hasn't grown another stand station. The car scene is all fucked up right now. That's the only event I care for. I don't even care for Week Fest no more. Well, speaking of Stance Nation, okay, so now, if 
first I'm going to say I'm on the side of I think this is the greatest thing that could ever happen. But I think it was Gatlinburg. Um, the, they were actually denying people entry that were previously allowed in the show. Because once they got there, there were parts of their car that just weren't up to par. Yeah. Now, I was talking about how people are mad and they want cars to be like a certain way and they're being elitist. But now that we're into the car show topic, I think that if you're going into a show, you're trying to show your car is best of the best. Like, you're at the end of the day going for an award, you know? Like, best Lexus, best import car, best domestic. But how are you the best when you're pulling up with zip ties holding your front bumper on? I don't care that you drove it 400 miles, you know, you don't, you represent, look at, go to a dealership, look at the car at the showroom. They're not going to put on a base model LE Camry, they're going to show you the TRD Camry that's buffed out. Yeah. So well, why are you like, why, are you mad that they did that, were kicking people out? Because they had little imperfections like that when they were coming in and they were previously granted access? Or do you feel they they did right by upholding those standards? I feel like they did right. Wait, wait, you saying did right by letting them slide with it? No, not letting them slide. Oh, no, yeah, don't let them slide. Because I ain't gonna lie, I, get hell, I got mad at the last, I think that was the last week fest I went to. I feel like the eliminated niggas only got in because they're who they are. When I went in, Whoa. I saw like hella, hella, this nigga car had like rust on the hood and all that shit. I'm like, hella dents and shit. I'm like, whoa. These motherfuckers really only look good on Instagram. Because eliminate, eliminate to the East Bay, it's like car community was Adam LZ to the car community as a whole. Yeah. Like people, since that translation of Weekfest was very popular and they didn't need Eliminate, but the East Bay portion of it, specifically the one in San Jose, they definitely benefited by having Eliminate there did not. Eliminate could have brought a car with no engine and still probably would have gotten access because they would bring 20,000 people themselves. That's facts. It's the same controversy with Adam LZ and FD now he's a great driver but a lot of people say he just doesn't have the experience to be a full fd driver but i really care less fd is a joke now the judging is a joke Dri some drivers should be higher ranked than others and vice versa it's all but about it's, publicity now. It, exactly it's, it's, it breaks it down to that it's like you don't really have to be good and not to say eliminator adam or any one of these like big name guys aren't good but there's they just have a big influence. So they get put on a pedestal above the rest. And you know what? If I was in the show's shoes, I would probably do the same. I mean, that's money in their pocket. Yeah. But it's, I don't know, it makes it harder for the little guy who doesn't have a million followers to show off his build because the spot's taken by Adam or eliminate. I think your size skirt just hit the ground. People, like, everyone nowadays has a, a sigma or a thought process that can't do certain things to cars. How do you feel about another nigga doing something to his own car? Hey, for him. His decision, his choice, his money. I don't feel like he should be told what to do with it. So what if someone does a mod that is genu genuinely unsafe? Like you, you know that what they do will break. It's just not a matter of like if, but when. If he knows that and continues to do it, then I can't say nothing. But the only thing I can do is recommend it to him. Like yo. Hey, you know this is not safe, and like so and so had this issue with that. If he decides to say, "Yeah, I know, I still want to do it," then all means, bro, hats off to you. But you know, don't be surprised when it happens. Don't like be complaining and shit. All right, yeah. For goodness' sake, I have like when I first got into IS, is I bought one with Godspeed uppers, uh -huh. and both of them cracked. Okay, see, I have a good. I'm glad you bring this up because Andre talks about Godspeed all the time. He always says how he wants to get them and. I tell him that shit every time. Like when I saw your shit snap, when it comes to suspension components, I know don't cheap out and do and not cheap that type out. of shit is not safe, bro. Dude, people are scared to run stock arm, bro. Yeah. Okay, if you want a little bit of camber and you're on the 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 IS or Alteza platform, get JZX upper control arms and SBC ball joints, and you will get good good uh, camber adjustment. Now you won't get your uh, caster adjustment, but if you want caster adjustment, then Save up the bucks and get like Serial 9 or something similar. Yeah, I literally only got Serial 9 because of them. I found them at a really good deal. So that's in the bringing me back to the dude with the RXA. Like, people are trying to roast them because he tried to weld his strut to his control arm. And first of all, they're two different materials one steel, one's al or aluminum. So it's not compatible. 
Now, you can weld it, but it's not a sound weld. So, like, they're roasting us saying, oh, you're, you're driving out on the street. You know, that's other people on the street, you know. But then there's people who run Godspeed control. Probably the same people running Godspeed are telling him how unsafe he is. Yeah. I think that's pretty much, that's hypocritical. And this is coming from someone who had Godspeed. I know they break. Yeah. I, I had TCS rear sport, or T, TCS Sportline rear upper control arm. I never ran them because. I remember when I saw those, I immediately said, don't touch, don't put them on your car. Yeah. And you showed me the welding and all the shit. I was like, yeah, see. I know that's when Mark runs them, but I mean, he has a, he's a show car. He doesn't daily and shit, so. That's the thing, people always know somebody who ran it. And let me put it this way. Somebody out there has a Godspeed control arm that is built better than almost any other control arm you could have bought that day. Because somebody in that factory was feeling himself. But every other control arm that came out that day was ass, and you gonna get that control arm. Yeah. And that's the one that's gonna break on you. Because the guy that Andre was compared to is this, like, I guess it's this famous drifter nigga. I don't remember his name, but he has, like, a teal IS, and he has full, I think it's my dad, I don't know my dad. But he has full Godspeed, uh, suspension, front, rear, all the shit. And my, uh, Andre's just like, you know. What T Sport? I kind of want to get the Godspeeds because they, like, they kind of cheap, bro. I just need some adjustment. I don't even need nothing all crazy. And I'm just like, by all means, go for it if that's what you want. But I always mention, anybody that mentions Godspeed, I tell them your experience. I watched that shit happen firsthand. On your story, I remember the day you were saying, like, and then you just throwing them in the trash and shit. I was like, this nigga's whole control arm snapped. Like, and just put it in perspective. I was that happened while you were like, oh, we got hot. I was waiting for that.